Hello, today is a beautiful day here in Sedona, Arizona, and my video topic today is Cornville. Cornville, Arizona, actually a very small town between Sedona and Cottonwood Camp Verde, about halfway in between, lies a small little town called Cornville, and maybe this should be on your list of places to look if you're relocating to Northern Arizona or Verde Valley. One of the nice things about Cornville is it's 20 minutes from expensive Sedona and wonderful Sedona, but you can get a house um, in Cornville for less money than you can in Sedona, but yet if you like to come here, you just 20 minute drive and you're either in Village of Oak Creek or go the other way and you're West Sedona. So this is a cute little town you might want to consider. You hear stories about John McCain owning a place in Sedona. Actually, his place was in Cornville. And the nice thing about Cornville is there are a lot of homes, just depending on the way they're set, if it's slightly on a hill, there are some homes that you have a clear view of Sedona from a distance and um, nice peace and tranquil place to live. So there are mixed things going on in Cornville. You have some home developments that have been built in the last decade that are very nice. You've got homes on the golf course, you have homes next to it, nice single family homes, and there are even some beautiful townhouses in Cornville. There are also older homes. You've got some old manufacture home or just homes that were built in the 70s. You might have homes that were uh, acreage and so um, you might have a house that is on an acre you want to have a horse Cornville could be a good option I'm going to show you pictures of this beautiful street that I love called Loy Lane where you drive in and you see this tree-lined street it's very nice to look at and there you'll have nice older homes on acreages that could be a good candidate for your new next place to live another thing about Cornville is it kind of is next to Page Springs kind of where the Oak Creek runs through, so you might be able to get some property close to the creek. Again, Page Springs is where a lot of the, uh, you know, the wineries are, the, the places where they grow the grapes to do the wineries, and they actually make the wine. So, nice thing about Cornville is if you're into that, you can go to the winery and buy the bottle from the winery. You could go in for their wine tasting. Uh, it's kind of a fun thing to do. So I'm gonna, here's a little bit of information you might want to know about Cornville. Cornville is actually an unincorporated area. There are about 3,500 residents. Now, again, I'm not sure how up-to-date that population data is, but the last count that I saw said 3,500 residents. And if you want to can include some of the Page Springs, maybe up to 4,500 residents in the whole area. So a very small town, elevation of about 3,500 foot high, which makes it just slightly lower than Sedona. So if you're wondering what's the weather like in Cornville, you can go ahead and Google Sedona weather and just subtract two degrees because it's very similar in elevation. We have a very similar cli climate here in Cornville from what there is in Sedona. Now the median age, 55 years old, covers an area of about 13 square miles. So you can say, yes, very small, 13 square miles. Uh, now, here's an interesting statistic. Median income, they're saying is $33,000. But now remember there are gonna be, if you have a 55 year old median age, you have a lot of retirees in the area. So that doesn't mean Cornville's impoverished. It just means you have retirees with a lower income that might have a higher net worth that are bringing that median income down to $33,000. The median home price, last I checked, it changes every day. It's been going up drastically the last uh, one year. Uh, medium home price, $420,000. And so now here's something important that people want to know is the cost of living index. So I found the cost of living index from Cornville and this is where they get together and look nationally cost of living and then they compare the local community to the national level and they come up with an index, 100 being average cost of living for the United States. And of course, they're considering housing, transportation, utilities, groceries, that kind of stuff. And here in Sedona, what puts the cost of living index higher than average is because of the housing prices. So housing prices is a big factor in the housing, um, in the cost of living index. So Cornville, your cost of living index is 110, which is slightly higher than the national average. But compare that to Sedona, 
cost of living index here in Sedona is 135, which means it's 22% more it will cost you to live in Sedona, beautiful Sedona, which I say it's worth it, but it's going to cost you 22% more on the cost of living index in Sedona than in Cornville. Um, of course, the biggest indicator in this cost of living index is the housing. Cornville, the cost of living housing index is 132. The cost of living on the housing indicator alone in Sedona is 218. So 60% more housing index in Sedona than it is in Cornville. Uh, rent, same thing, 113, the housing index, meaning 13% higher than the national average. Now I'm gonna just take you through a quick tour on how to get to Cornville. So say you're headed north on Interstate 17 and you have just taken the downhill part of the road that brings you into the Verde Valley. First you're going to pass the State Route 260 exit. After that you're going to pass the exit that takes you to the casino and finally you're going to take the McGuireville exit which is exit 293 and you're going to go to the left. If you go right you're going to Rimrock and if you go left you're on Cornville Road now. See we're entering Cornville and that will take you through Cornville all the way through to the end. Eventually you head out to the 89A where if you go left you can go to Cottonwood and if you go right you're going to go to Sedona. So in a couple of minutes I'm just going to speed up the footage um, because it's a long drive and I will let you take a look <laughs> in fast motion. Um, this footage actually was taken in the winter time um, when I go past the old part of town in Cornville. Now as you're headed north in a minute you're going to see there are beautiful homes that were built maybe a decade ago, maybe 15 years ago, maybe some are new than that, but you got nice tile roofs, uh, definitely a middle class community. And then you would get to the golf course, a very nice golf course if you want homes on the golf course. And now I'm just going to go back out to the 89A. A lot of traffic that day, sometimes it's a little bit tough making a left. And there I am, I'm going to exit out of the 89A. And before we go, I just want to take one last drive on Loy Lane, which is my favorite part. Um, my name is Don Dickinson. If you want to contact me, my contact information is below. I hope you subscribe and I hope you have a great week.